Love you too. I was informed a few days ago that there's over 3,000 homeless people in Lane County and that the needs range from a drug and alcohol to counseling to housing, clothes, food, showers, uh, medical attention, pet care, um, winter clothing. So there's, there's a wide range of needs. Um, at this camp, we're, we're pretty well set. We take care of each other. We share donations. Um, if somebody's tent's ripped, we get a new one for them. Um, and it's usually a first needs basis. So if somebody has a higher need, medical attention, pet care, they'll get the camp donations. The table's full. Meat and onions and garlic. I'm going to go hand this to our surgeon. Well, I drove by the other day and saw they had a camp here and they had a table for food donations. I have an abundance of food right now. So I'm sharing. Stay old, Marine, like I used to have. So in my opinion, I think that there's a lot that could be done for homeless in Lane County. And one of those is face-to-face -face interactions. Face-to-face. -face. You have to put a face to the pain to fix it. It's not going to do any money, any good for the county to throw $300,000 at housing issues if you don't know who you're talking to. I could post a sign on my yard saying fix homelessness. People honk and wave, but that's not doing anything. And for me, a direct action, a direct nonviolent action is in somebody's space, in a public place where there's lots of traffic, where people are forced to look. They're forced to acknowledge that there's pain and suffering happening here. And it's not going to go away by the SWAT team chasing us from spot to spot.